another edition of Trapper Rod's Outdoor Pursuits. Today we're going to prep brass. It's going to be the first step in prepping brass. A lot of people don't go through all these steps to prep their brass. I like to, uh, simply to make my brass as absolutely congruent as it possibly can be. Absolutely consistent in length, in weight, in the circumference and diameter and thickness of the neck. Uh, just absolutely as one piece of brass absolutely as similar as the other that way you can get pretty consistent results that's kind of my goal for precision rifles is to get all of the things that can be variables knocked down so the only variable is the nut behind the trigger so i'm going to go through this brass this is lapua brass well known for being one of the most uh, consistent brasses out there I've got 600 pieces of 6.5 PRC. Uh, they all came from the same lot. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to weigh them. These are fresh out of the box. I've got my sample right here. I don't really know how many cases in there. 20, 30, 40, this is probably about 50 cases. We're gonna weigh each one and we're going to write them down. And we're gonna see what our median uh, weight of brass is. And we're using the RCBS scale here. I've already got it calibrated. We're all set up. I've got my notebook. And we're going to start weighing brass. So here's our results from our 52-piece sample. It looks like the bulk of them fall between 221.7 grains and 222.2 grains. That's about a half a grain spread, which is perfect. So we're going to make our limits for this brass between 221.7 grains and 222.2 grains. And we're going to sort all of this brass and uh, see what we come up with in the end out of 600 pieces. Check it. Check it. Check it out. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it out. Check it. Check it. Check it. So here's how we ended up. We have about uh, a little over 300 cases out of 600 that made the cut. Uh, we've got three very full boxes and uh, about a third of a box there. Uh, that'll be plenty of brass for that rifle. Uh, I don't plan on shooting competitions with it. This is all just going to be hunting ammo that should last that rifle for the rest of its life, uh, let alone my life. Our specs ended up being about 221.6 grains to 222.2 grains. Uh, that six tenths of a grain in there. Uh, the theory behind this is if you have a case and it's made out of the same brass, which all of these are the same lot. Uh, that case, all of these cases in these boxes should contain approximately the same amount of brass. That means the head should be about the same thickness, the walls should be about the same thickness, the neck and the shoulder should be about the same thickness. It just gives you uh, an idea of more consistency. Now there's really nothing wrong with this brass over here. Uh, there was an extreme spread of about six grains from the very, very lightest case to the very, very heaviest case was about six grains. But the vast majority of these culls were within three to four tenths of a grain of, of, of our, our keepers. So somewhere around uh, the vast majority of them were between 221.2 grains and on the upside around 222.6 grains there was a lot of them that were within one tenth of a grain of what we decided to keep out of this bunch so the next step is going to be to measure the length of them get them all trimmed to length and get the uh, case next turn what you want in a case is you want that case to consistently hold that bullet exactly the same way exactly the same time and be exactly centered in the bore of your rifle. So we're going to make sure that the bullet is gripped by the exact same length of neck of case neck. We're going to make sure that that bullet is gripped all the way around by the exact same uh, thickness of neck wall. And we're going to make this ammunition the very best that we can. 
if you're taking animals and you're stretching your shooting out past three, four, five hundred yards, which I am capable of doing with my equipment because I killed an antelope at 550 last year, uh, between 550 and six, uh, you want to have the very best ammo that you possibly can. The animal that you're hunting deserves it. The hunting experience, the, the money that you put into the hunt it deserves it. Uh, if you're going to spend three, four, five, six, eight hundred dollars on a tag, you want to have your rifle and your ammunition tuned up so that it can shoot submitted of angle groups. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make this ammunition as consistent as it possibly can be. That way, every time I put a round in that chamber, I have confidence that I'm putting the very best ammunition in that muzzle, in that, that chamber of that rifle barrel. And no matter what you're hunting, if you're going to be stretching your, your, your abilities out past that 200, 250 yard mark, uh, you need to have the very best rifle set up and the very best ammunition that you can possibly afford. And if, there, if you're a hand loader, that means you need to make the best ammunition. If you're not a hand loader, that means you need to buy the premium ammunition. So uh, this is our first step into loading some premium ammunition for our 6.5 PRC. Uh, thank you for stopping by with Crapper Rods Outdoor Pursuits, and God bless.